In his testimony before acting judge, Munsu, Esau informed the High Court that he sought to appoint a new board of directors. Amit reports that Fishko was dysfunctional both operationally and financially due to a myriad of issues. This, he says, included the outsourcing of its quarters as their own vessels stood idle instead of catching fish, while they accrued hefty penalties in docking charges from port authorities in Valfus Bay. The employees and the Luderitz Town Council pleaded with him to intervene. He informed Judge Munsu, as they did not earn their full perks, while $900,000 stood in arrears in raids and taxes. The concern, my Lord, that is painted in the minds of our public is misplaced, if I have to put it that way, my Lord. Because the truth of the matter is the financials. The truth of the matter is also if people can be interviewed at Lutheran's council members then, former mayor of Lutheran's, Susan Njaleka, the people, workers, shop stewards, staff members of Fishko can, be, can attest to the fact that Fishko was in the ICU. This, he added, prompted him to approach a few people to recommend experts who will be nominees for a new board of directors to restore good governance principles at the parastatal. Esau divulged that former Justice Minister Saki Shangala requested him to nominate Hatui Kulipi as chairperson by virtue of his expertise and also as a youth in his submission to cabinet after producing his CV. I was asking for somebody who can give me a name of the youth. And Saki Shangala, in fact, gave me a name of James Hatwikulipi. James' name never came from me, it came from Saki. It came from Saki, and I said, fine, we will have to do a vetting on these names. And we did a vetting, my lord. The peers did vettings on the names before we took it to cabinet. We're looking at the profiles of each one of the names. Esau denies appointing Hadri Kulipi as part of a criminal syndicate to solicit bribes to facilitate the award of quarters to Sam Harry, saying claims of nepotism are devoid of any truth. He denies gaining a single cent, stressing he in fact sought to appoint a different person in his role or instruct the new board of directors to elect its own chairperson before his then permanent secretary insisted that he must appoint anyone as required by law.